Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Dishonored 2. I'm currently here on the pause screen because there are some people talking in the background again, usually more than one at the same time, and it's very disorienting, especially if I want to make my introduction at the same time. But yeah, we are very close to the Overseer um, outpost. We have been inside last episode and we need to go back because we need to get that body, which is the first thing that I would like to do today and then maybe return to the black market shop uh, and buy some stuff because we did find quite a bit of money in the previous episode so yeah let's continue and um we need to get back into the outpost now this place should be fairly safe because i have been I must be ever vigilant against the Taking out all of the overseers already. Oh, is this what it is? Yeah, this is uh, a blueprint. Fire hardening treatment. Nice. Unsent letter to the high overseer. Esteemed high overseer Kulan, I hope you're in good health and not too nostalgic for way gone, which I'm told is striking this time of year. Forgive my stream of letters, but our problems in Circonus are significant. Any insights you can offer would be welcome. Duke Abel is a travesty, openly disdainful for the Abbey, and yet I must maintain relations with him for the welfare of this nation. You've been called a unifier, something the Abbey greatly needed after the horrors of the Red Plague, so your guidance would be of value. Under the Duke, the streets here are overrun with cutthroats. Paolo and his gang grow bolder every day. I've heard that name before. Lastly, my recent correspondence with our oracular sisters has been troubling. Their responses have arrived after marked delay and their recent proclamations possess an unusual cadence. Use and face Vice Overseer Lime Burn. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, um, I should probably look around a little bit apparently we do have some stuff in here that I haven't found yet for example is this a painting oh it is the vice overseer's vice overseer Liam Byrne. the vice overseer's predicate logic I have not seen him before I do take the painting though so is Anything of this of importance, except from a longer work. Again, this seems familiar. It's probably similar to what we've read in the first game, so I will read that off camera. These are just typewriters and not actual audiographs, right? There's nothing inside the cash register. How disappointing. Um, ooh, this is some stuff I could take. Uh, I hope nobody's going to hear that. All right, grenade. Don't really need that, to be honest. Anyway, um, I guess we should move on and find that body. And it looks like he's somewhere above us. Okay, got the stairs down. Um, I don't know, is there anything down there that I would like to look at? I'm not seeing any people, but then again seeing people with his version of dark vision is kind of difficult <laughs> okay but we do have like a bone charm somewhere nearby um well actually this is the closest one i suppose clerks okay but i can't actually open this door Well, um, 
not seeing a lot of stuff going on here at all. Okay, well, this is a dead end. Restroom. Typewriter. Ooh, what is that? Is this something that I want? Um. Okay, nobody heard that. Ivory Scrimshaw. Okay, it's just more loot, meaning more money. What's, is this a map? Karnaka Enclave. Lobby closed vice overseer holding closed rooftop. Oh, okay. So I'm in the lobby now, presumably. And this is just, okay, this is going outside, which I don't really need to use. And we have a room over here. Seems empty. Um, <laughs> there's nothing inside here, is there? No, I don't think there is. All right. Um, I think I have looked at stuff enough down here. So let's go up and uh, let's find that body and maybe the bone charm too. So, um, yeah, I need to get even higher. I mean, this is just back to the room where I was. Okay, we got stairs up here. Now, do we have any people this on this floor? Even though well, I, I do hear people. The situation. We'll wait for the vice overseer. When should Byrne arrive? He's engaged currently. He'll send someone else. Maybe Overseer can die. Until then, we stay where we are. Will Baratic's corpse attract blood flies, brother? No, I've dusted it already. We should be fine here for now. But mark me, anyone who shows up here has ill will at heart. There are no coincidences in Karnaka. Okay. I see two people. Um... Do we have any other people somewhere else around here? Huh? Ooh, um, someone got suspicious. Okay, he's actually looking the other way. So let's use this opportunity. All right. And maybe we can stash him somewhere downstairs. Okay. Just going to put you here. I mean, I see a few rats, but I feel it's not enough rats to be of danger to corpses. <laughs> I hope. All right. Um. There's at least one more overseer upstairs. Um, well maybe I should make sure the rats are not going to be a problem. <laughs> there we go. So, um, where's the second guy? I mean, he might still be in that room over here. Yep, he is. But he is not looking my way. So again, that should be an easy choke. There we go. Oh, is that the body we're looking for? That might be our body. Um, well, let's have a look around a bit. Wanted, Mindy Blanchard. Citizens of Kanaka, 
The Howlers are not your friends. Mindy Blanchard, wanted by the Grand Guard for various crimes and gang-related enterprises. Dangerous and not to be trusted. Reward for information leading to her arrest. <laughs> well, I kind of know where she is. But um, I'm also kind of working for her, so... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything. Ooh, got a stun mine. That's actually something that I may want to use. Excerpt from an overseer interrogation report. Brother Bernardos, where did you find those drawings? Accused, I made them. As I said, I am an artist. Mostly newspaper adver advertisements. Brother Bernardos, these don't look like advertisements. They look like heretic nonsense intended to make your neighbor sick or bring back a loved one. <laughs> Accused, nothing will dissuade you of these notions, I'm sure. So instead of wasting my breath, I'll give you some advice. Take a bath once in a while, overseer, and invest in some scented soap, unless that's against one of the strictures. <laughs> Conclusion. Apparently, the accused suffered from a weakened heart, dying during the interrogation without providing anything further. His apartment on the canal should be searched for items or drawings of a profane nature. So I guess this is the guy who died during interrogation. Um, is this something? Oh, I got the key for the interrogation room. I see. Which means I can take the body now. Also, there's a bone charm in that room as well. But before I go and uh, grab the body, let's make sure we have completely looked at all the stuff in this place. For example, I see Hal's Alexei over here. And oh, none of this seems to be useful. But again, it seems to be safe, so I probably can just walk around normally. Ooh! Well, I'm glad this didn't happen to me while the overseers were still around. I'm not sure if stuff like that happened in the previous game that you would just, you know, stumble into stuff and it would make a whole lot of noise. That's something to be careful about. Selected sayings of the overseer. Again, I think this is something that I will read off camera. Doesn't really seem to pertain to my current situation. But okay, let's open this door. And there we That's go. That's it. The body Mindy sent me after. Right. Um, well, before I pick up the body, let me have a quick look around. We have a bone charm here. It's a corrupted one. Clumsy assassin. <laughs> that sounds very interesting. Not sure if I want to use it. Brief invisibility after choking or assassinating an enemy. That's useful. You are louder when making noise and more visible when leaning. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this. I mean, the benefit is really nice. But I'm not sure if I am willing to take that payoff. Anyway, um, let's grab all of this stuff. Secret date. Amadeo, meet me in our usual place tomorrow night. Be sure to bring the drawings we talked about. Huh. I wonder what kind of drawings they are talking about. I would like to see these drawings. But I can really just carry the body. So, um... I guess I'm just going to take him with me and uh, where exactly am I supposed to bring the body I mean I don't think I'm supposed to bring him back to the black market shop she told me to bring him somewhere else okay so she's actually pretty close right that's going to make my life a bit easier so I don't know let's see is there 
good way to reach her undetected. Yeah, she's not that far away. Maybe I will finish this off first. Um, okay, there's an overseer down here. In the Abbey, who was banished during the rapture. Do we have any people? His name may not yeah, I mean, this should be safe, I hope. Has been erased, so great were his okay. There's no one over here. Can I make this blink? Yes, I can. Alright. Um. Ooh. Got a train station. This actually seems to be a proper train station for people and not just, you know, coal carriages or whatever. Well, actually it is just like coal carriages, but I mean, this looks like a proper uh, train station. Interesting. Um, ooh, ooh, um. What? Someone noticed me. But I think it was just a civilian. Anyway, I think I need to go down here. Mindy, Come on. is Come it you? On. Hurry up. Head. All right, it is you. You got him. I Put got him. In the hall. So that's it. You just want to bury him? I mean, fair enough. Put it down. Good job. Take this. I won't ask you why you needed that. So how do I get to Adermeyer? I just sent one of my boys to turn off the power to the carriage rails. When the juice is off, you can walk along the rails and get where you need to go. Oh. On the other side, there's a station that will take you to Adermeyer. Better than nothing. Thanks for your help. Okay. I totally take it. Achievement unlocked morbid theft. <laughs> so, do you really just want to bury him or did he have some stuff on him that you wanted, like the drawings, for example? I feel that this was mostly about the drawings, to be honest. But um, I am not going to ask any more questions. <laughs> Well, you have quite a few bodies here, but they seem to be overseers, so obviously the overseers are not your friends. But yeah, um, we finished our optional objective. Um, Mindy and the electrified tracks. Yeah, however, um, there's still some stuff I want to do before I move on to Adamaya. For example, um, there is still... A rune and a bone charm very close. I know there's a rune somewhere too. Yep. It's actually right over here. So I kinda wanna try to get that one too. Oh look at that. What is it to you? Interesting song. <laughs> anyway, um, the rune is what somewhere below me. How do I get there? Delightful. Okay, I mean, the civilians don't seem to mind that I'm walking <laughs> around here. I think that one civilian only freaked out because I was carrying a body. <laughs> All right. And since we do not have any overseers or gang members or anything here. If only truth and justice could <laughs> really be weighed on scales. I can actually just move um, around here. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not an area for customers. <laughs> Okay, maybe I shouldn't just steal their money in the open like this. This might still come back to bite me. But yeah, where exactly is that rune? It's somewhere below me. Let's see. Um. 
Ooh, might be somewhere down here. Let's go down. Oh, well, it is somewhere over here. Can I maybe grab it with my far reach power? I don't think so. Um, maybe if I use it from over here? No. Also, I think it's actually like hidden behind that log. It's probably stuck behind there. Um, well, so how do I get inside? Don't don't go into the water. There might be hackfish. There's totally well. I'm not sure if they're hackfish actually. They might just be normal fish. Non-lethal fish. What a novel idea. <laughs> um, but I would like to try something. It does look like it's stuck behind that log. So if I destroy it... Well, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. So, um... Now I got that rune. I would like to get out of here. Ooh, I think that's an overseer over here. I want to get away from him. Anyway, um, let's find a safe spot to get our bearings. Are there any more runes or bone charms nearby? We got one over here. We got one over here. That one might be the one in the infested building. Um, but I'm not seeing any more runes, and that's the most important part. However, I think um, I still want to go back to the black market shop. And I feel that this should not be too difficult. I just need to get back to that building that we used to pass the wall of light and then um, back to the black market shop. So this might take a few minutes and I will bring you back once I have reached uh, the black market shop or if something happens in between I will show you too. Alright, I made it back to the black market shop and before coming here... I like how you spend. And before coming here, I went also to the beggar and uh, stole his two sleep Welcome darts. Back. So I don't have to buy a whole lot of them. Right, I did find one blueprint. Not sure if I really want to need it. Uh, let's just look for the gear for now. So I am full on sleep darts because I took the ones from the beggar. Um, stun mine might be nice. I do want this. <laughs> Glad we could do business. I think I'm actually going to take. You won't regret it. Two of them. Um, I don't really need a lot of health elixirs usually. Do I want to get this? A pair of sailors passed along the location of a boat that sunk in the bay, containing supplies. Sure, why not? I'll take that deal. I will take it. Um. And I think I'm going to pass on the stun mine for now. So in the end, I didn't really buy that much. I shouldn't deal with strangers. <laughs> Enjoy the air here. I, for one, ain't selling fermented shark. Yes, you said so before. Also, I actually do need to use one of these elixirs. I used a little bit too much far reach in quick succession and that's why it drained my mana a little bit. Anyway, um, what exactly is this information that I got about the supplies that are somewhere in the uh, bay? 
Oh, I actually do have maps now. Favor, sunken supplies. Dockyard, wall of light, overseer offices, Adamire. Oh, so it's over here. Um, which means once I go back to Adamire station and take the rail to Adamire, I kind of need to make a stop here and look for the supplies, right? At least that's what I get from this map. <laughs> okay, um, in that case, I don't actually have to do this now. So, um, I guess we're going back to uh, Adamire station now. I'm still not sure if I want to go inside this building. I don't know. I think I'm just going back the way that I uh, came before and then we will see what to do next. So again, this will take a few minutes and I will bring you back once I'm back at the uh, station. All right, I am back at this place now near the Overseer Outpost and um, the Bone Charm is actually very close. So maybe I should at least, you know, have a look at it and see if I can get it from here. And who's got to clean I mean, this is obviously the infested building. The go. So let's see, maybe I can grab the bone charm with my pull object skill without actually having to go inside. More Grand Guard soldiers. Best to avoid. I agree. I will also take this over here. Oh, the door is blocked. Probably from the inside, huh? Um. But yeah, the bone charm is right over here. So. Let's see, can I use pull objects to grab it? No, no, I don't think I can. It's either because of the door or maybe I can destroy the stuff. Well, that works, but now the blood flies noticed me. Um. <laughs> Okay, well, the notes said that you could destroy their nests or you could kill them with fire. So, um, do I do I want to risk going inside? I mean, I just got another health potion, so maybe I should actually give this a try and see how to fight these blood flies. Let's make a quick save. Oh, I cannot save. Well, in that case, I hope I'm not going to die because I will be doing something stupid here. I will go inside this place and... Oh! Was that the nest? That may have been the nest. Well, I mean, it looks like killing them is not super difficult. Or oh, is this a nest over here? I have no idea. Oh boy. Well, I didn't really lose a whole lot of health. So, oh. The pony does give you some loot destroying the nests. Um Well, where exactly is that stupid bone charm? Well, somewhere on the other side of this. So apparently getting that bone charm is not quite as easy as I thought. Oh, well. Got more over here and I'm going to assume this huge red thing is a nest. Huh? So let's go for the nest right away. And now let's just kill the remaining blood flies. Also, I'm not sure if this is also a nest. But I can destroy it, so maybe I should. Right, um, this wasn't so bad. I mean, they don't do a whole lot of damage, apparently. If you just destroy the nests quickly enough, I think you're fine. So, let's move on and let's try to get that damn bone charm. Let's quickly rush in here destroy the nest and we're good
Um, yeah, I see another nest over here. So, let's go for that one next. And there's another one over here. And this one should be right next to the bone charm. There we go. Swift Stalker. Um, let's see. Do I want that? Movement is slightly faster with weapons sheathed. Well, I guess that is not completely useless. Alright. I mean, this blood fly infested building wasn't really all that bad to be honest. And I got some nice loot. Um, yeah, I guess we are ready to move on. To the station it is. And I believe there is actually another bone charm very close to the station. So I might even be able uh, to pick that one up as well. I yeah, don't need any of that. And let's make sure we have completely looted this place. I really wish I had a dark vision that would highlight objects. <laughs> um, no, this is not stuff that I want to take along. Yeah, I think I think I'm fine. So back to the train station. It is at Amaya Station. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go the same way that I went before, so let's use the lamppost. Let's wait for mana to regenerate. And I think I went up onto the roof and then over here. Should be easy enough. It just takes a while because I need to wait for my mana to regenerate each time before using another far reach. <sighs> Sink roots into the bedrock of the community has passed. Those who want. I guess I will go through the overseer station again. Oh well, look at that. I still uh, find stuff that I have missed the first time. Reports from the Oracle. Sister Allison, recorder of proceedings. Also present Sister Anne, Sister Margaret and Sister Tabatha. The following is a true and complete transcript of the utterings of Sister Anne Oracle. More incense, please. Yes, the past and the future melt. I am without body. Dust all about me. So thick my visions falter. It is greed in palpable form, hiding a thousand evils. Oh, look, my sisters. Heresy. Ten, no, twenty wretches. Servants of the void. Vile worshippers of the outsider. They are assembled here this very moment in a hidden alley. The grounds lick with fishmongers' dead treaters in the heart of the dust district. I am moving now, still wrapped in dust, nearly blinded, yet I sense something. Other blasphemies hide nearby, a strange taste in my mouth, what is this? And here there was a pause so long that Sister Tabatha finally broke the silence. My sister, has your vision ceased? Or if not, what do you observe? And Sister Anne answered thusly, I have a message for the vice overseer. Tell Byrne to end this needless meddling into the conservatory. And now Sister Anne will be needing some rest. And thus ended the session. Truly and complete in detail, Sister Allison. Hmm. Interesting. This might have some deeper meaning, but I'm not really seeing it yet. Anyway, um, I think I need to go up to the interrogation room out the window. And then I should be near the station again. Let's do it. And I do believe that we have another rune. Yep, no, it's a bone charm, but 
still might be worth getting if it's not too difficult. That's it. The electricity's off. Right. So Mindy did keep her word. And I could just walk along the rail to Adamaya Station. That's the plan, right? But, I mean, I do want to find that bone charm. And again, let's try to keep away from the civilians. Because you never know... Station. This should take me out to the Institute. ...how they will react to you. Okay, so I can just uh, leave for Adamaya Station now, but... Um, let's try to find that bone charm, huh? Somebody's seen something. Now we're all on edge. I transfer you to huh. the My heart district. can't... Oh, much the more of this. I do see a guard over here. So that one is definitely hostile. There's another guard over here. Um... So... Where exactly would that bone charm be? Let's... Get a little bit higher. Somewhere in this building, presumably. Oh well, I may want to look at this building anyway. For some loot. Let's just make sure that no one is inside. This must be the alchemist's apartment. Oh! Alexandria Hypatia. Well, um... Looking around here would be useful one way or the other, I'm sure. I mean, we are looking for her, but she is not here, but in Adamaya, right? But okay, let's uh, look around. Nest Keeper. Alexandria, I've always believed the idea of bloodfly nest keepers to be a legend or a drunken minor talk, even though members of the Grand Guard have reported putting down belligerent occupants when burning out bloodfly infestations. As such, this silver graph represents a rare sighting. We can only conclude that the final stages of bloodfly fever occasionally result in an extraordinary kind of brain damage, wherein the host fixates on protecting the nest. The blood flies in turn welcome the afflicted person and thus a symbiotic relationship results. Bloodfly research never ceases to amaze. If we could procure a sample from the brain of one of these nest keepers, I'd love to observe the effects on rats or wolfhounds in my laboratory. Okay. Well, that is creepy. Some kind of zombie, huh? Ooh, um... There's a sleep dart, but I don't actually need it. But yeah, um, this place actually seems to be fairly safe. No guard anywhere. So, let's loot. Ooh, and we got an audiograph. The blood flies have flourished with all the Duke's executions. Hm. So, I guess it is true and more dead people mean more blood flies, huh? Anyway, let's listen to this. I spend less and less time here at my apartment, but my work at Adamire demands it. After the horrible failures of my first serum, I'm more determined than ever to help the miners. It's not my say how hard the Duke and his cronies drive the workers, but until he sees reason, I'll do what I can to make their lives better and to provide comfort to their families. It's my obsession, this work, and the impact it will have on the least privileged people in Karnaka. Studying the hmm. original plague elixirs. I'm close to something. When I find Hypatia, I'll see what she knows about the Crown Killer. Right. I mean, she seems to be a pretty decent person. That's good. And... As I mentioned before, I, I like her name, because Hypatia of Alexandria is like one of my favorite historical personalities. So, I do appreciate this little nod to her. Uh, 
Well, um, I actually have no more room for that, so let's fill up the mana and then take it anyway. But, um, I haven't found that stupid bone charm. It's somewhere on a different level. Oh, I will take this. And I will take this. <laughs> um, I'm sorry for ransacking your apartment. Like I said, you seem to be a decent person. Got some rats. But not a whole lot of people. As a matter of fact, the building seems to be fairly empty. And I'm getting very close to that damn rune. Uh, it's still somewhere below me. Gotta go even further down. Nothing here. Ooh, now we're back on street level and we do have some people down here. Some guards. And what exactly is this place? Note from Dr. Hypatia. Dear Cyril, I'm working so late these days, I might as well sleep at Adamaya. I know it's not good for my health and a doctor should know better, and you are totally right. But I have the feeling I'm about to discover something important, something that will improve my Adamaya solution. Would you be so kind as to water my plants for a few days? You'll do a better job than me anyway. I always forget them. Help yourself to an elixir in my reserve if you like. I hope Caroline gets better soon. Your neighbor and friend, Alexandria. Okay. So, still not entirely sure what this place is. Ooh. Is this where the bone charm is? It's a safe. I need a code for it. Oh boy. Um, well, if I'm lucky enough, the code is somewhere nearby, but it might take some time finding it. And the episode is getting very long, so I think I'm going to make a cut here and uh, we will continue with this in the next episode. I want to try to get the bone charm if I can, but then we will finally move on to Adamaya and leave this place behind because I feel I explored it pretty thoroughly and I found a lot of uh, interesting stuff. But yeah, let's uh, call it a day for today. As usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.